In this episode, I'll take the jig that we made in the previous video, we'll take it out to the workshop, and make a few of these pins that we'll later use in our casting base that looks like this. Or we can just make a single that looks like this. So without any more delay, let's head out there and make some sawdust. From the leading edge of the router bit to the front of the block is two and a quarter inches. There's a one eighth inch gap between the router bit and the block base. This is a half inch bullnose bit. Now we will drill our one inch hole into the base piece. There, that looks about right. Now you'll notice right here there's a little bit of space for the concrete to come up around the cone. That's when it fits properly. In the last video of this series, we'll take our pins and I'll show you how to set up the base and we'll go ahead and make our nozzle retainer so that we can cast our nozzles and start making motors right away. In closing, I wanted to offer a couple of tips. It will take a little bit of tinkering to get the jig just right, but once you're happy with the setup, make a setup dowel and keep it in a safe place. And that way, if you ever have to put the jig together again and make more pins, it'll just be a cinch. Also, while you're at it, make extra pins just in case you need them, or if you want to share them with somebody else. After the pins are cut, they should have a little bit of a shoulder on them, like this. The pin on the left doesn't have quite enough shoulder. Now, we can still use that pin. It'll just change the dimensions of the nozzle itself and make it a little bit longer, but that's okay. Try to get the pin to look like this. Cut the pins at three inches in length, and we'll adjust the length of it as we set up the base in the next video. The casting base is reusable, and we'll be able to cast nozzles quickly, efficiently, and easily once everything is set up. It takes a little bit of effort to get everything ready to go, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. I wrapped several pieces of tape around the dowel to improve the fit in the guide tool. If the fit is too loose in the guide tool, the router bit will chatter against the dowel. Turn it slowly and carefully. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of the following. Also, Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. This is The Rocketeer, signing off.